welcome to the show. Can you imagine learning how to play the acoustic guitar by one of the best? Um, as you can see, my next author, uh, Park Mather, is really a legend and he's very humble. He doesn't like to be the star. He says his thousands of students are the star, but he wrote the book, How to Play Acoustic Guitar. Park, so glad that you're here. And I love the fact that you're just embracing your guitar. I love the guitar, Suzanne. It's with me 24-7, 366. Is um, that right? Yes, yes. Well, well, let's start off doing a little something a little different. Let's have you just, let's, let's get set the tone, no pun intended, for the interview. And just maybe a couple chords, maybe a little motivational tune. Um, for for, for the, some of the adults I've just been working with who are in high-pressure jobs learning guitar, just it's such a gift for them to be able to um, maybe do a little bit of a slow yeah. meditation music. And as you can see, I'm not doing a whole lot on the guitar there. I'm just, just a few little two or three chords, that's all. It's beautiful. Yes, there was absolutely beautiful. You don't have to do all of this to enjoy the guitar. When, when did you start to love guitar? What's your story? Um, I started playing music when I was seven, but I didn't get into guitar until I was 15. The, the, okay. um, um, the sound of it, I had tried piano and piano accordion particularly, but the sound of the acoustic guitar used to melt me. And when I was 15, I decided I'd, I would learn it. So I went to um, someone to teach me. And I Did it come up. naturally? No, I gave up. I, I failed completely, Suzanne. <laughs> Um, it wasn't my fault. It's just um, the, the the actual person teaching me wasn't a guitar teacher at all. He was a great guitar player, knew a lot about guitar, a lot about music. Ah, and he could do it. He couldn't teach it. What makes you different being able to teach it? Um, I I gave up. And the second time around, I, I stumbled I into the way. There was a very, very famous group in Ireland called the Fury Brothers and and the Finbar in particular and his brother George were, were so good to me and helped me um, and saw that there was definitely music in me. And when they were in off their big tours, they would help me and I got better and better. So once I got it, I made a, a deal with God that I would always set time aside to help other people play because to this day, no later than yesterday, I met someone who had the same experience. They tried to learn didn't get it and it wasn't their fault at all it's, it's the, the, there's so many people out there that that are very good guitar players know so much about it and know little or nothing about how to actually teach the guitar to somebody um so so to answer your question it took me 11 years of teaching guitar four years doing it badly um but it actually took me 11 years in the trenches night after night about five nights a week, year after year. And I remember one Saturday night coming home, I said, now finally you've got, you've learned how to teach. Um, I had no role models, even the famous people, because they were great musicians. But I just ended up being an original then because my methods were so different to everybody else. So, so. Um, so now I've got two things I need to ask you about. First of all, not giving up. I can see why that sign is in the back. Be strong, do not give up because you talked about your failure and how you didn't give up and it paid off. Yes, yes, ab absolutely. And um, be because to learn anything right is going to take time. Um, the guitar is easy when you know how to play it. Like I made it look very easy there. I can just hit chords and, without even thinking. You know, can hear how, how easy that is for me. But, but while you're learning that, that can be quite difficult at times. And I, I've yet to, of all the thousands of people I've worked with learning guitar, um, and, and when you were talking about stars, they are the stars in my school. I think it's probably the only school in the world where the student is actually the star. Um, and some of them go on to be very, very successful for, from being a beginner um, right right up. Um, but this, the, the be strong, do not give up is, is a verse from the Bible. You, you'll see behind me on the wall. Um, uh, so I, faith is an important part of you. Um, totally. Uh, all all my work is is Bible based. Um, all my work, um, whether it's whether I teach my how I write, um, the the Bible. I I do my utmost to 
to keep it as consistent with the Bible as possible. And um, I had my dark days in life, my young life, live music, alcohol, but the alcohol took over and um, everything was tried. I actually was a very bad case. Um, and as a last resort, we handed it over to God. Mm. And from that point on, uh, <laughs> that, that was 20 and a half years ago, but I haven't taken a drink since. Uh, oh. and, and the compulsions were removed as well, which is the real part. Very few people talk about that. I haven't had a compulsion to drink in, since I handed it over to God. So I'm I'm very grateful. So so through that, then I I decided to hand my music and my teaching and my writing over to God. And he has opened doors that that I could never open. So so I don't take credit for any of this, Suzanne, at all. My my way didn't actually work. Um, it did work when it came to playing live music. Yes, it did work. And it came to when teaching music, but it hurt me in terms of my writing and the work I do now. Um, it, it's because of God. God by, by putting God in the driving seat, um, I give him credit for the success. Oh, I love that. How many of us can say, yeah, we tried to do it our way. You know, how'd that work for you? Not so good. I understand. The other thing I wanted to point out is your style is very different, very radical. Can you kind of share how you're so different? Yes, Suzanne. Um, are, are you talking about my guitar teaching or my, or my way of... of Let's playing? talk about your actual skills, your actual playing, how different it is. Uh, yes, it, it became different. I actually am... Um, I, um, I, I wanted to be a teacher particularly, but was no good in school. So I had to kind of make up my own ways then and... and um, and I became an original as a result of that. I was always outside the system. So I don't know what it's like to have secure jobs. I don't know what nine to five is like, but that rubs off on your music. Um, and my writing is different. It, it actually ended up being very simple. Um, as you'll see when I'm playing a guitar, I don't really move a lot in guitar. There isn't much busyness, but yet, um, there would be a lot going on. So it's simplicity for me and in my teaching, my, my students are very successful because, because we spend the early weeks keeping things very simple and making sure that no stone is every no stone is unturned. And then it gets interesting then because they have these very nice sounds coming from their guitar, very pure sounds, and their chord changing is is technically very clean and tidy. So how, no. long, how long would you say it takes for someone to play the guitar just to be able to go from zero to I can yeah. jam for basic stuff like, you know, Mary had a little lamb. I don't know. <laughs> no, no. That's one of the mistakes of guitar teaching. You, you can go in with big songs from the start to keep it. You've, it's a teacher's responsibility to keep it in. Really? Yes. Okay. Yes. And I'll prove that to you. If you give me a second, I'm going to literally move two fingers here and okay. you could be a beginner learning guitar and just switch on a different computer here. I'll just bring up a Bob Marley number if I can, and okay. you will see that we can play the song with just two chords. Okay. It's a bit of reggae music. Just two chords to that. Wow. That's really fun. That that actually gives me hope that I could do it. Yes. You know, the other thing that's so fascinating is that you are the most translated guitar author in the world. That's you right. have you have books available in 12 different languages. That's right. That's right. There's so many. Can you speak I'm about that? Remember. Yes, that happened because it, through my teaching, um, as as Ireland become, became more of a, an international country in in the last twenty years, I uh, people came to my schools who were maybe I remember a couple of Chinese students and particularly a couple of Danish students. I remember a, a man from Nigeria and and all their local songs. Um, they wanted me to teach me their folk songs or the pop songs from their countries. And I said, look, I don't know those songs, but if you would print it off, if you would print it off and bring it in to me and let me have a look at it, I can move those chords around. And, and sure enough, no matter what nationality came in, it, it came back to this G and this C and this D and this E minor. Um, we just did a Bob Marley number, but I could have shown you a Beatles number. 
or I could have shown you a number by Phil Collins, or I could have shown you a number by by um, the Eagles with three cards or even two cards, believe it or not, not to mention all these. So so what happened was uh, I, I was praying one night and, and again, God inspires us from time to time. It suddenly dawned on me that, that, that this was about how your fingers move on the guitar. If you get that, you can pick and choose any nationality you want or any type of music anywhere in the world, whether it's gospel music or rock music. The skills are the very same. And the basics are the same. Mm -hmm. Yes, the, your technical ability on acoustic guitar in particular and electric guitar actually is the very same. So, so, so you learn that first, and then you pick and choose. But, but with my beginners, we actually go straight in with these big songs by Tom Petty and bands like America here. Just two chords, and you can have out songs like A Horse With No Name by America. Yes. I could name Bruce Springsteen songs, or I could name like Born in the USA, two chords. So if, if, if you're listening to us tonight, I, I know some of the audience listening to us right now have started learning guitar in the last few months. And, and if I could give you two things to help you with your guitar playing, if you're one of those people who's just started, just go online and look for look for guitar songs with two chords with two chords and just get an easy strum pattern, something like this, down, down, that, and put that with your two chords and, and okay. you will start playing some decent songs to get you off the ground. Sweet Home Alabama mostly has three chords, mm -hmm. D, C, and G, that's all, and it's a very well-known song. Yes. There is one extra chord, but you can play it with the three chords. Um, um, and the second thing I would say, if you're a listener listening to this right now, and if you're if you're struggling with your sound, if you could use your finger tips. Okay. This was a great technique I learned from a very famous group in Ireland called the Fury Brothers. Okay. They always use their finger tips. Okay. This is what's one of the many things that put them set them apart, and they were an outstanding family of musicians. Their, their songs became world famous, but they would always use their finger tips, and that is, takes care of beginners have this thing called collapsing knuckles. And okay. if they use the finger tips, that puts that in place, and it actually gets their hand into this very good position to play their Ds and their Cs. Otherwise, they're all in like this, and there's no room for their hand to work. So, so there's two things if you're a beginner listening to this right now. It doesn't matter what style of music you're learning or wherever you are in the world right now, I can promise you, if you use your fingertips for your the chords you've been learning, and if you go online and look for a couple of guitar songs with two chords, like Eleanor Rigby by the Beatles. like You'll be like, able to just pick up and jam around a campfire very easily. Yes. yes. Poor, why do you think people give up so so quickly when they, you know? maybe it's taking guitar lessons and they had, yes. it wasn't a good fit with the coach, you know, or yes. they just, why do they, why do they give up? And what are you doing differently that, that keeps them finding success? Yeah. Thank you for that, Susan. That very important question because yeah. that the success rate online is, is so low with, with particularly with adults, they seem to adult beginners seem to have been forgotten, even though there is many courses that's, so-called adult courses but the main reason i see adults giving up is because they want to learn the acoustic guitar and they're transitioned into learning music theory like quatrains and quavers and guitar tablature and um treble clef bass clef uh, no the best musicians i worked with knew nothing about music theory i actually wrote a songbook for a famous artist years ago and we were three songs in i wanted to make sure we were in the right road and when I sat down with him, he said, there's no point showing me. I actually don't know anything about this. And he had written some amazing songs, big, big hits. And so I decided from that point on, I was stunned. I drove from, from the house that night. I said, that's it. All my music books, I'm taking out all the music theory. All my teaching, I'm taking out all the music theory. And from that day to this, my books are different. There's actually no music in my books at all. That's the amazing thing. It's just simple words and a lot of imagery. Move your hand here, there. Keep your triangular shape, keep your space, keep your thumb in this good position here. So it's it's very simple. It's just words and images. And and I can tell you from years of guitar teaching that your fingers respond to imagery far, far quicker than this English that I'm talking here right now. So that's one of the I 
so my students, thankfully, we have almost a 100% success rate because, wow. because there's none of that. It's just straight into actually playing the guitar, straight into songs. And we grind it out, trying to get the sound right and speeding up the changes. And once we're over that, then we're we're there. So that's one of the reasons I'm so 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 different, Suzanne. Park, we're we're winding down here, but something that you do that's really fun is that you give support, free live support webinars yes, to your students. I, I was, yes, I was the first one, Suzanne. I, I've done a lot of firsts. I invented the guitar triangle, probably the most important thing a beginner could learn about playing acoustic guitar. And electric is not the, anything on, the, on this or, or with your hand. It's actually the space between the two, which you'll see in my books, the guitar okay. triangle. It's, it just puts a whole lot of things in place. But um, I, I find the support webinars awesome. They're on every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Um, Irish time. So that's not ideal in America, but we're trying to come up with a second time to help the people coming back in from work in America. So to get them a 7 p.m. webinar as well, um, it means staying up late at night, but it's so worth it when you see how much improvement, because as good as the books are, if you can get at the author of the book, who and, and believe me, I have a lot of experience, and it's it's very often it's enough to, to get them through and to bring them up. And I don't think there's one person who came on our webinars who regretted it. They, wow. they, they all improved. It, it, they, again, the, 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 the idea is, is Bible-based. It, it's it's Bible based, and um, because the, the the Bible, you can go to the author of the Bible. It, it's the one book where you can talk to God right now. If we wanted to, we could stop and we could talk to God right now. It's it's the first thing that I do when I have issues or or problems. I stop and I ask God first before I do anything else, and the difference that makes. But but. Um, I'm only a guitar teacher at the end of the day. I'm only a guitarist. I play in a music group and and I'm very grateful that I get to play gospel music on a Sunday morning in, in a Baptist church in Dublin. Um, so, but um, but it, it's very important that, that, that we support people to get them started as much as possible. So that's, that's the Q&A on the Wednesday night. It, it does help them. So it's, it's very worth it. And it costs nothing. To, to, to have cost nothing at all. It's only an hour of my time. So you could have people from Australia or from last week, someone from Windy Island, just outside Seattle. <laughs> there was someone in the boat in France on it a few weeks ago. So sure. it's amazing who you might meet. Yes. That's great. Parik, thank you so much for joining us. Parik Mather is a book trail author with the, the book called How to Play Acoustic Guitar. Park, you're just a joy. Thank you so much for your time and sharing your expertise and for your humbleness. And just this was just amazing. Thank you so much. And how can people get a hold of you and your book? Um, well, my website address, parlexguitarschool.com, mm -hmm. is one way. And Amazon, any, any Amazon site worldwide from Australia to America to Canada um, and any language Chinese, uh, Chinese, yeah, Spanish, Portuguese, wow. Italian, awesome. German, French, Brazil, Brazilian Portuguese. There's others. I, I can't remember them, Suzanne. There's so All many. Over. That's and, right. And of course, over. of course, Book Trail. You can go to Book Trail and get your book as well. Book Trail Agency, yes. They, yes. they have been yes. so good to me. They're based in New York and they um such good people and the support they 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 open doors that I could never have opened. Suzanne, I'm very yeah. grateful. And to yourself, Park. thank you for having me. It's been a real privilege. It's been a joy speaking with you too. I'm sure we'll talk again. Have a great day. Thank you.